In this lecture, we are going to talk about door and window dimension markers in Archicad. So we are looking for a way in which we can be able to label all the architectural fenestrations that we have so that when someone is reading our plan, they are able to understand the information that we have presented to them. So let's begin by selecting this window here. So if you select this, go to the settings dialog for the window. When the settings dialog is open, you will see selection settings for, for the window that we have activated. Then under dimension marker, so click on this. And then you will see we have not set any type of uh, dimension marker. So click on this button. You will see these as the types that as the types of dimension markers that we have for our windows that are included by default in uh, Archicad 24. So let's say we select this first one that is called basic window door skylight marker. Click on it. You will see that we have activated this uh, information that gives us the window tank and the size of that window in terms of the width and the height. So with this, let's click on OK. Then when we get back to the floor plan, you will see this as the information that appears on that plan. So this is what we are calling a dimension marker because it is giving us a tag for that window and it is giving us the, the size of this window opening. I think with this now, we can be able to explore other options for for the types of dimension markers that we want to set for our windows. So let's get back to the settings dialog again. We click on that and when this settings dialog is open, we go to the to the section where we have the dimension markers and let's try to look at other options and see how they are getting represented on the floor plan. So click on this arrow select W marker 24 and when that is selected you see we have uh, this marker simple settings that has been open and that all these dimensions that are given here are for us to be able to control how this is going to appear on plan without changing anything we click OK and then by default this is what you are going to see on plan let, let me select this bed and try to move it this way. With that, you are able to see that this window has been given this tag of WD014. And this is the width. This is the height of that door. And the seal to story height has also been represented here. So let's undo that. Then with this, we go back here. And we can we can still look at these settings and see what is the best for us. So let me select this Windows tab 24. And when that is selected, we click OK. And let's move this to the outside. So this is now a dimension marker. And it is also giving us the same information, but represented in a very different format. So still with this, you can be able to select it, get back to the settings dialog again, and do some customizations in terms of how we want uh, this to be represented on plan. We can be able to change the pen sets for that. We can be able to change the font type, font pen, and this is the font size. Still under window stamp settings, we have options for indicating what type of dimension dimension we want to be displayed on the plan and uh, and this is under detail level so you can see we have all all dimensions we have unit dimensions we have the id we have seal height uh, all these options here you can you can take your time and explore all of them so that when you are placing your marker you well understand what type of information you want to display on the plan. So with that, I will suggest that we get here under dimension marker, select no marker for this and click OK. 
because what I want us to do is to be able to select all the windows that are available so go to design architectural tools architectural tools and activate the window tool then control plus a on your keyboard that is going to select all the windows that we have for this project so with those windows selected let's go to the settings dialog here for the window as we had discussed under dimension marker we will uh, click on this arrow and select windows stamp 24 with that under windows stamp 24 we'll uh, select the marker size here to be three millimeters and then we need to have a uniform pen rather you can still have it as that then we will change this to pen number one close that and open mac mac text style and uh, font type click on the drop down and select this font montserrat font we will have the pen as a as pen number one here and then this font is the size is 1.5 millimeters that is set then under under window stamp settings we have detail level here we have this selected selected as scale sensitive so that that information is going to adjust its size based on the scale that we are going to have for our plan so we have id as ticked wall all dimensions also as ticked and the seal seal height as uh, indicated here so that is set as that under classification and properties we have this classification set already for this element to appear as a window so that is it for that so when that is uh, done we click on ok and observe what happens to our plan so you notice we have all these annotations that have been added to the plan some of them are not appearing in the, the right location so what we do is we click outside here to unselect all these windows then we will adjust these markers one by one so that they will uh, appear in the right uh, location so we start with this window click on this to select it then we have this uh, intersection point here that is the midpoint of that marker click on it then move it to the outside like that so let's get to this one also move it to the outside and that is what we are going to do we are going to make sure that we have adjusted all the markers that we have put in place for example if we see this one is going to appear as big than we want it to be we can just get back to the settings so let's make sure we have adjusted all of this we have this window here So now because we understand we understand how to how to move them i will uh, do this faster then uh, we we will uh, wait in the in the next part where i show you how to put dimension markers for the doors so i'll do this as fast as possible then we meet in the next part of this video that is how to adjust them to the right positions uh, select all of them again go to the settings and i want us to adjust this size so that we have uh, we have these markers appearing in a smaller version let's say we have that as 1.2 this is the font size and click ok 
then these are going to adjust and appear smaller on the plan if we still want to make that smaller we can adjust to one millimeter or let's say 1.1 millimeter and click ok you see them adjusting so with this we have uh, represented our door our our windows we've put the necessary annotations to the windows that we have and then this time now we we go to design architectural tools and click on the door tool to activate it then control a on your keyboard we'll have selected all the win all the doors that we have then let's say i want to unselect these ones these are the empty openings so i'll make sure that i have unselected them so I'll click on them to unselect them so that you're only remaining with other openings other, other doors that uh, you are able to close and open so when they are they are selected as that we open the settings dialog for the doors and this is the same as what we have done with the windows when you look at the doors we have these default settings and then under dimension marker here we'll select this and select door stamp 24 that is the same thing we had done with the with the windows and when that is selected click ok to make sure that setting has been uh, saved then we can look at our doors and this is what happe has happened to them so because we want to represent that better on the plan let's get back to the settings dialog again and uh, marker text style we'll have the font type as Montserrat then and um, under font size we'll have this as one and the dimension marker again we'll set this as let's say three and have this pen as number one and click ok so that information has also been adjusted accordingly and as you can see here we have a tag for this door which says this is D00 DOO then 008 that is the tag we have this as the door size which is 900 by 2100 millimeters so that is how to set door and window markers for our project i hope you have uh, understood how to do it so just take your time and make sure you go through your project make sure you have uh, the right settings in place you have adjusted everything and then you can uh, share this in the discussion forum so that we get to understand how you are uh, going on.